Hey quails! Welcome to my show! If you're new here, welcome! My name is Caleb and this is Draw Mondays under Quailocity, which you should know because you're watching my channel, which is Quailocity, so there you go! <laughs> you already know me! And if you're not new here, thank you again for coming. You know how it does is you know what happens. You're a hip person. So this week I just kind of wanted to share some more things about me. Um, some pet peeves, if you will. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on my pet peeves. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> When I get wet, and I'm not supposed to be wet, like someone spills water on me, or let's say someone spills lemonade on me in a theater during a premiere of a movie. I really don't like it when someone acts like they know a lot about something when they don't, but like it's like an actually act like that, they're not just like, but like when they actually are pretentious, and they don't claim it, like I'm pretentious, and I claim it, but if you're pretentious and you don't claim it, I hate that. <laughs> I don't like it when people are rude. I don't like it when people are racist. Prejudice, sexism, misogyny. Good afternoon. I'm Jared Jarrettson, QOP Channel 6. I'm interrupting this broadcast to bring you breaking news. Over the last 24 hours, the world has been sent into a fit of panic. Millions of reports have been flooding in, claiming that the popular Christmas companion Elf on the Shelf has been demon-possessed and is currently committing heinous acts of violence against its fellow toys as well as the humans it's in cohabitation with. Several reports suggest that the acts taken by the elves include but are not limited to assault and battery, holding for ransom, unlawful restraint, and even first-degree murder. One particularly disturbing report claims that during a jealous fit of rage, one of the elves forced a five-year-old little boy to deep-fry each one of his toys before force-feeding him two dozen cookies. Popular conspiracy theorist Jim Raiden suggests that the culprit behind the demon possessions is none other than Isis. He claims this is just one in many attacks that are an attempt to force the world into the next world war. We've contacted not only the national security, but also the FBI, and both have declined a comment at this time. The manufacturer of the dolls themselves have placed an immediate worldwide recall on them. They urge you to place your demon possessed doll into a box with a sticker that has your name, address, and social security number clearly printed on the top. Then turn that into your nearest Catholic church so the dolls may be cleansed and picked up by the manufacturer at the earliest convenience. However, the manufacturers have specified that to claim compensation, the dolls must remain undamaged. They've published a list of damages on their website that include, but are not limited to, damages such as burn marks, scorch marks, stab wounds, water damage, cross markings, etc. That's breaking news at the hour. Remember, in this dark time, keep your family safe by cleansing each toy you bring into your household. For breaking news when it breaks, I'm Jared Jarrettson, QOP Channel 6. They're angry feminists. I really hate it when someone has sticky hands and they touch me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you had a good time listening to my pet peeves. If you haven't, didn't, then I'm sorry. I'm sure you did, though. So don't act like you didn't. Rude. Don't appreciate that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, you know what to do, you're a smart cookie, hit like, subscribe, share it, comment, do stuff, talk to me about something, comment, actually, you know what, comment below, and say what your favorite pet peeve is, or your worst pet peeve, or something is, anyway, you have a great day, bye. Do, 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 do.